This is a 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon 4x4. We'd like to thank our friends at Apple Auto in beautiful Shakopee, Minnesota, where they sell Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram vehicles for loaning us this beautiful Jeep Gladiator today. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, two guys, guys in a ride. ride. And today, Nathan, tell the folks what we're taking a look at. Oh, we're here today with a 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon 4x4. Yes, sir. But say, before we get started, if you'd like to keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, SUVs, and you'd like to know about all the cool technology, and you'd like cool collector car stories, take a moment, hit that subscribe button down below, and ring that bell notification at the top so you never miss a video. That's right. So what do you say, Nathan? Oh boy. Yeah. Let's, let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. <laughs> All right. So um, this is the little detailed video on the how the driver's information system works and, and what the, all these buttons do. And then we'll do the infotainment stream. So basically the way with Jeep has it, you know, this is your digital display right in here for driver's information. It is really nice. It's really crystal clear. Um, it basically, you're going to use your up and down arrows to select the different menu items. So for instance, if I start by going down one, here I have speedometer and it says press OK for kilometers. So I press OK, which is right here and it goes to kilometers per hour miles per hour okay so i hit another down arrow again here i have tire pressure now you'll notice on the screen that i have two arrows and some green dots and i'm going to go back and click into it again so you see those right here that means i have more screens left to right this is my vehicle info screen so i'm going to go to the right and i've got engine or coolant temperature i've got transmission temperature oil temperature and then oil pressure uh oil life battery voltage now I'm gonna go down again and here's my off-road stuff and I've got two screens here I've got the drivetrain and then I've got this really cool um, a, a, you know, like a what do you call that Robin in no uh, yeah inclometer whatever I can't think of the word but basically it's your pitch and roll we'll just use Jeep's word that'll work yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> so there's your pitch and there's your roll I mean I just I, that's just really neat Okay, and then uh, we got your number four is your adaptive cruise control, and that's either on or off, and and there isn't a way to control it from the left, so you go over to the right, and this is your adaptive cruise control button here, and I'll get to that in a minute, but if I turn that on, then it's on. Yeah. Going back over here, I'm going to go to the right, or I'm gonna, sorry, I'm going to go down again. So now I'm on screen number five, and I do have a couple things here. This is uh, fuel economy, and if I go to the left, I get an average fuel economy. And okay, so this is this is current. Tells me the range. My range is 160 miles. Current, I'm getting zero. Average, I'm getting 16. Um, and then here it just gives you your average. And then as you drive, it gives you a needle that goes back and forth and tell you what your miles per gallon is. All right, let's go down again. Trip info, I've got two things, trip A and of course, and trip B. Okay, so if I go down to the next one, I get the start stop. Now that has to do with your auto start stop and there really isn't any button over here that you can use. So if you go down underneath your physical climate control buttons, you have the auto start stop button here. And if you click it, It'll say stop start is off. If you click it again, it'll say it's ready. Okay, so going to screen eight here is where all of your audio stuff is. So anything that you have on will, will show up here. You do have some controls in the back of the steering wheel. So you got like basically you got a volume up, volume down, and there's a middle button. It's right behind here. Then uh, that does, does your sources. Over here, if I go up, Oops, let's get out of Bluetooth. How about that? There we go. So this one changes this. The, the up and down here are a seek button for your audio. 
So it would be somewhere if you're on Bluetooth, it would be like a, you know, skip to the next song or go back. The middle button does your presets that you have. Okay. So let's go to screen, the next one. Screen nine. Okay, this is where if you, your vehicle gives you any messages. Um, newer vehicles are getting really good at notifying you like you need service on something, and that's where these show up. Okay, and then we go 10. We can press OK to enter screen setup. This is where you can customize it. So let's say I want to go and I want to do the, let's see, upper left which is good, it's highlighted in orange. So if I click here, I can say I want outside temperature there. So now I've got outside temperature. All right, I could also have time, I could have range to empty, average economy, current economy, trip A distance, trip B distance. What time I got up in the morning, I don't know what else it has, my gosh. All right, and then you can just press okay. Setting saved. Then I can go to the upper right. And I can, again, it'll be the same options, okay? But I can click here and change all those. Customize it how I want. All right, and then if I go to current gear, I can turn current gear off or on, okay? And I can go to odometer and I can go show or hide. So if I decide to say I wanna hide it, did you see it just disappear right down here? It says 16 miles. If I say hide, it disappears. Okay, so let's, let's just leave it on show. And uh, if I go down to favorite menus, okay, then I can, these are the ones that I can get to quickly. All right, and then I'll go back. Let's see, go back one. And it's basically a left to escape. And you go, to go back a step, a left arrow. And then up here, um, that's it. I've been through them all. If I do the upper center, then I can have audio show up there, main, the menu title, speedometer, none, or compass. I mean, so it's just, it's really customized. It's so neat the way you can do that. I'm just going to leave it as outside temperature. Okay, and that's the end of the screens. And, and, and the beautiful thing about it is that Jeep has given you basically five buttons that do everything. And it's a simple up, down is your different menu items, left, right is accessing things within the menus. And then okay to select anything. Okay, over here you got your phone on, phone off, you got voice command. Over here you do have your cruise control. This is normal cruise control, on or off, set, plus or minus, resume, cancel. Then if you want adaptive, it's here. Then if you want to set your increase your gap, it's here. If you want to decrease your gap, it's here. All right, that being said, let's move over to the infotainment center. Okay, so on the uh, infotainment screen here, uh, this is uh, an 8.4 inch screen. Um, it, it's really, really nice. I love the way Jeep has set this out. So it's just very customizable. For instance, so um, you can take and just, you know, click on like say uh, an icon let's say projection manager and then drag it just like your smartphone over the top of an app and it replaces it on the bottom so there are constantly six apps down here and then you can just drag and drop whichever ones are most important to you so they're easy to get to i love that okay up here of course you have your temperature display okay um which i, I like Tells you what temperature is outside, uh, the time, of course, and then your audio. And then you have uh, different kinds of apps. You got the tra serious uh, travel link, which is incredible. It, it comes with part of the subscription, but you know, the weather map, um, and you've got sports, you've got just a serious X and traffic, just so many things that if you get this new and you get the subscription with it, try it out because I think you're really going to love it. All right, you got a Wi Fi hotspot here. Um, both, uh, let's see, let's go, oh, off-road pages here, I'll take a minute, maybe lost, but never stuck, <laughs> okay, so here you go, off-road pages, so sway bar connected, it tells you front axle unlocked, rear axle unlocked, um, your steering angle, your transfer case, what gear it's in, you know, what range it's in, you can go to accessory gauges, so now you're seeing a whole bunch of your necessary gauges right up on the screen when you're off-roading. You can go to pitch and roll, and then you can go to the trail cam. 
which is the camera that's in the front. And in case it gets dirty, why, you just hit the clean camera button and it squirts water on it. <laughs> I like how the fact that the, that the swivel lines here are, are like Jeep tracks. I love that. And then up here, of course, you've got your rear, you can switch to rear camera. You can focus in on the hitch area if you want, or you got the front cam. I just love that. And then you can X out and you're right back to this screen. Okay, so while you're on the off-road mode, you can just have a real easy access to that trail cam, which I, I think is nice. And, okay, so let's get out of here. Um, you do have a vehicle user guide, your audio settings. Um, again, notifications are things that the vehicle is trying to tell you, like, you know, time to change your oil. All right, um, you do have, you can look at the backup camera here, and you've got some uh, extra guidelines here. Okay, if we zoom in, Okay, those all disappear. Be kind of nice if those would stay there as you zoomed in. You know, it's like if you're backing up to a trailer, but but they don't appear to. Um, all right, and then of course you have your forward-facing camera, and then we've already looked at that. So you just uh, navigation. Okay, this does come equipped. That's part of your voice activate uh, voice command system here. Okay, so the one thing that Jeep has done is they haven't put a physical home key anywhere. What you do is just press the apps button, and this always stays on your screen. doesn't matter how you customize it, and there you're back. Okay, so just uh, so many ways to, to have fun with this. Um, you do have touch controls on your screen for your climate if you want. Um, and again, this is where your sync button is located, so if you want to sync both sides, you do have to go into the infotainment screen, and I wish they had a physical button somewhere here to do that with. I really like having a physical one. But it is right there in case you need it. Um, over here, you've got some more controls for your heated seats, your heated steering wheel, um, your passenger heated seat, backup camera. You know, they just give you a bunch of nice settings right here along with your mirror dimmer, okay? And let's go back here. So we hit apps again. And then uh, let's see, we'll go just to settings for a minute. Okay, so up here, you know, you, this is where you can change things like the language, the, the, the units you're using, voice clock, camera, that kind of stuff. So if you need um, to change something, let's take a look at auxiliary switches for a minute. He, here is where you can actually kind of make some settings for your, your four auxiliary switches that you have. So uh, power source or the ignition or battery, uh, recalled last state, and the type where it's latching or momentary. Now that's the first time I've seen auxiliary switches put in and then this many options given to them. I mean, I think that's really nice. I think Jeep has set that up really well. And there's four auxiliaries, so each one is the same. But um, just, wow. Driver safety and assistance. So here you got your rear park sense volume. Um, when things are, you know, you're backing up, you got your blind spot alert, um, you got your hill start assist, okay, auto emergency braking here. You know, we want warning and active brake, warning only or off. So these are where you can set that. This thing has got quite a few safety features on it. Mirrors and wipers. Do you want headlights with the wipers? Um, so again, anything you kind of like, okay, I want to change this setting, this is going to be under settings. Hey, coming down a little bit, you got physical controls for the audio system with uh, power on, off, volume, and then you do have a tuning button. You can see up here that the radio is changing stations, and then you have a browser enter button. Climate control system here, you've got uh, basically your driver's temperature, defrosters, uh, passenger temperature, and then your modes, and then your AC or recirculation. And then, of course, uh, auto, and then uh, fan speed. Right here is rotary. Moving over here, you have a heated steering wheel, and then you have three-stage heated seats for both driver and passenger in the front. And then, of course, you have a mute button to mute audio, your auto start stop on off, your trash control on or off, hazards, parking sensors off, um, select a speed switch when you're off-road, you need to keep the vehicle locked at a certain speed, and then you can shut your whole screen off in case it's too bright. Okay. Right. Down here, you have your power windows. Okay, this is expressed down in the front. So if you press, they'll go. let them go, they'll go down. But going up, you have to hold. So this is driver and passenger in the front. This is a passenger, uh, left passenger, right passenger uh, in the back. This is your window lockout button. So it's a physical sort of a rotary knob. You'd have a 12 volt outlet here. You do have your media sources here with 
uh, two USBs, a USB-C and a regular USB, and then you have an auxiliary 3.5 millimeter jack. This is where your four auxiliary buttons are that we talked about earlier in the infotainment screen. You have the off-road plus mode you can activate down here. Your disc, you can disconnect or reconnect your sway bar from here. And then here you got your lovely front and rear locking differentials if you push up and rear locking if you go down. Of course, you have to be in four low, I believe. Um, four high or four low. I think four high at least for the front and rear. All right. You do have the manual switcher there, and then, of course, your gear lever here, um, which works like any other gear lever. I do love the fact that they put the Jeep right on the the, uh, the shifter. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, video on all the buttons and stuff inside the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, because it's really awesome. All right. Thanks.